Last time, I had a little laptop hard drive that I cut into pieces on my bandsaw with a metal cutting bandsaw blade. And as I mentioned before, this saw is not actually designed for metal cutting. It is meant purely as a wood cutting saw. One of the big differences is the RPMs. Now this is a two speed saw, but the lowest it'll go is about 1700 RPM and a metal cutting bandsaw, some of them will go down as low as like 100 RPM. So the more speed, the more friction, the more friction, the more heat, the higher the heat, the faster you're gonna wear out your blade. So the first test with this one is number one, did the blade survive that little two and a half inch hard drive? We'll find that out soon. Now when I tried to resaw the laptop hard drive, that didn't go over very well. I never got very far in. I'm gonna give it one more shot with this drive. This is an old Western Digital Raptor drive. This is from my very first uh, video editing machine that I made, like more than 10 years ago probably. It's only 36 gigs, but it's also 10,000 RPM. Back in the day, this was screaming. This was also my first serial ATA hard drive. I guess it's time to see what its guts look like. <laughs> So that went really, really, really slow, which I guess that after getting a closer look at the drive itself, I guess that sort of makes sense because the, the metal, and I don't know what kind of metal this is, but whatever metal it is that makes up the base of this drive right here is really thick. That's like half an inch thick. And so it did take a while for it to be able to cut through that. I also think that when I cut up the laptop hard drive, I probably got the blade too hot and I don't I think the blade is basically shot. Anyway, that's the inside of a however old this thing is, Western Digital 36 gig um, 10,000 RPM Raptor drive. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If uh, you want to see more of the nonsense I do in my shop sometimes, go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you next time.